All right, the new Breath of the Wild DLC announced a f bike, which is clearly amazing and nuts at the same time. However, 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 how does it work? It's Sheikah technology, but very different from anything we have seen before. So let's find out how this sweet little bike works. The Master Cycle Zero is a rune obtained after defeating the final boss of the Champion's Ballad main quest. This powerful vehicle was intended for the one true hero, so it was made for Link or any other that possessed the spirit of the hero. When Link returns from his quest, he is free to use the Master Cycle Zero across Hyrule. However, over time it runs out of fuel, which must be replenished by holding materials and inserting them into the tank. Now if you compare this bike to any of the other Divine Beasts, then you can see that they have something in common, but there are also a ton of differences. All the chic attack we have seen so far doesn't need any fuel whatsoever. For example, the slate, the shrines, the beasts, and way more. So, how does it actually work? And could it possibly explain how other chic attack functions as well? Let's take a look at the fuel, because this is the biggest question out of all of them, and especially since the Master Cycle Zero is the only one that seems to need it. While everything that uses energy also consumes it, that's quite logical. So do all the Sheikah items use fuel of some sort? If you want it to make sense, then yes. However, we never see Link put anything in the Sheikah Slate or any other power source for the Guardians or whatever. So how does it work? Well, let's first look at what kind of energy source it uses. Is it some sort of fuel like gasoline or electricity or something else? For all we know, it could even be that the Sheikah technology uses something that we don't know, like some other mystical power source or even magic that isn't known to us. We never really see how they're powered. However, when they are destroyed, you can see something really interesting. Electricity. A good example of this is the exploding guardians. When you destroy it, you can see sparks coming from the machine, as it breaks down and explodes. This is quite a good sign that it's powered by electricity. But now for our second question, how? Well, it could be that it generates power on its own, and there are multiple ways this could work. One of them would be absorbing power from other things. This would work in a similar manner to the Master Cycle Zero. It would consume some form of energy and convert it to power in order to function. For example, sunlight. We see this a lot in our day-to-day -day lives as well. For example, in solar panels. But how does this work? Well, simply put, a solar panel works by allowing photons or particles of light to knock electrons free from atoms generating a flow of electricity. Solar panels actually comprise many smaller units called photovoltaic cells, which simply means they convert sunlight into electricity. Many of these cells linked together make up a solar panel. So essentially you use the power of the sun particles to do something different that generates electricity. And ta-da, here is the promised power. It could be that the outer layer of Sheikah technology is padded with some sort of solar panel layer that powers everything. We've even seen Tesla release roof tiles that can generate power this way, so it's certainly possible. But Wiley, this doesn't explain how the bike works. I know, I know, we aren't there yet. It's just one of the ways the other Sheikah tech could be powered. And since there are a lot of other ways to take one energy source and turn it into electricity, we aren't done yet. You can even create energy out of garbage. One way to generate electricity is to burn solid waste like the material found in landfills. That terminal energy is transformed into electrical energy, usually by turning a turbine. Another energy source that comes from our garbage is the methane gas that is produced as the waste decays and this gas can be used as fuel. So this could be an answer to our question. Burning down the materials that are thrown into the bike and use that to power it. We have even seen a similar thing in Hateno Village, where you had to light the ancient furnace with a blue flame, and all of a sudden they had power. So it could be that this furnace generates energy by burning waste. However, there's another way it could generate power. The electrical stones and balls seen in the shrines and dungeons. They have some sort of electrical power, and we have even seen these in other games in the series. Back in the day, I made a video about how the rupees could power the magical armor seen in Twilight Princess, and even the switches and other stuff in the dungeons. 
I will link that video in the upper right corner so you can check that out after this one. Now why the rupees or maybe another gem could do this is because some crystals can generate electricity and there are actually two ways this could happen. First up, pyroelectricity, which is the ability of a mineral to develop electrical charges when exposed to extreme changes of temperature. Some minerals develop an electrical charge when heated and others when cooled. And secondly, piezoelectricity, which is the ability of a mineral to develop electric charges when put under stress. These will develop charges when rubbed or struck repeatedly. This is another way they could power the divine beasts, shrines and other Shika technology. However, this is most likely not the case with the bike. That one clearly turns the items thrown into the device from normal stuff to power in order to run the engine. It could be that it has some sort of batteries inside that hold the power it generates from waste. But no crystals, I think. However, you need to keep in mind that the person who gave you this motorcycle said that it was a masterpiece of innovation created for the one true hero. So it could be that the bike uses new and more advanced technology than the Divine Beasts, Sheikah Slate and other tech. Now there's one point I haven't mentioned yet. The bike is a rune, so it's part of the Sheikah Slate. However, every other rune doesn't require any fuel or extra power at all. Why is that? Well, if you look at all of them, then you can see that the bike requires a lot more energy than any of the others and is used also for longer periods. The bomb and the stasis one both have a cooldown, but the bike doesn't. Clearly, the Sheikah Slate can handle short bursts of energy for certain runes. However, with the bike, it needs some extra help. Shout out to my editor Kotlol. He noticed this weird little thing with the runes, which was certainly a good call, since it explains why it's the only one that needs extra power. Now, is this really how it works? Well, who knows? It's the Legend of Zelda after all, so there are powers and forces in the world that we don't have. It could even be that the blue flame or the liquid seen in the shrine itself have energy that they use to power all the technology. So maybe we will never get an answer, but now we at least have an idea of what it could be. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed. Why don't you follow me on Twitch? Why don't you follow me on Twitter? Why don't you follow me on Instagram? Exactly! Answer these questions! Why are you breaking my heart like this? Go to those links and do stuff! Come on, I make videos, you watch them, I, I, I already put in the work.